Now in this video, we will link MySQL database to Ignition Scala. Now, if you go to the status of your Scala screen, of the Scala dashboard, you will see database. In my case, it says one connected, but if you're doing for the first time, it will say zero connected or nothing is connected. So let's open this one. And here you can see my database is valid and it is working. So I will delete this one and show you how does it work, how to add it. So let me delete this one first. Okay, now when you open your status again, it will be zero, zero. So click on the databases. It will be like this and let's create new and create new database. Now here you have to select various database option. Now, because I'm using MySQL, I will click, click MySQL connector. Maybe you have a database of Firebird or IBM or Microsoft SQL, Oracle or PostGRE SQL. So based on which SQL database you have installed, you can select different plugins. I will choose my SQL connector J. This is the relevant one. Click next. And now you have this window with various information. So don't worry, I will tell you what is that. First is you have to name your database. So I will write database, just a database or database uh, underscore CAC, code and compile, okay? Description, database, define for Ignition SCADA course, whatever you wanna put. Driver should be like this, MySQL connector J, this is by default, because we select that in the first step. Now connects shows the connect URL. You have to put a URL here, it's by default here. It says host. Now if you remember the host was local host, I choose in the first step while explaining my SQL. Port, we have defined 3306. Now database is the, which database you want to connect. It says here test. Now if I open my uh, window here, now I have a database SYS. Okay, so I have to check, select this SYS. The test here was by default because of my last examples. So I will use SYS. So once again, this will be by default like this. The host is my local host, port is 3306, database is SYS. Make sure you do that. Root, uh, username is the root because we define this username in our databases in the first step. And the password, I will put the password which I defined for my database, not the Ignition password. This is the password we define while installation of MySQL. So you, you, you need to remember that. So we need a username, we need a password, we need a URL, which is this one. And that's it. Just click create new database connection. So it's quite easy. So it says status valid, MySQL connector, and this is connected. All right. Now I will, so this is how you just have to make a connection. Okay. You have to make sure this is valid here. This is very important. And once you go back to your connection, you will see one database, one is defined and one is connected. If it is one slash zero, it means it's not connected. So you have to check the various parameters you have used to connect it. Okay. This is simple about how to connect a database in Ignition Scala. So in the next video, I will show you some scripts, which I will use to check the validity of the data between Scala and between MySQL. All right. I'll see you in the next video.